Hello and welcome back to another video, another episode of the Algerian Transfer Daily. Today we are talking about another completed done deal. Yassine Brahimi, a legend of Algerian football, went to the 2014 World Cup uh, in Brazil, of course scored against South Korea. Um, went to the Arab Cup, won the Arab Cup, player of the tournament the Arab Cup, scored the, uh, the last goal in the final and of course was a part of Algeria's recent unsuccessful AFCON 2021 squad. Oh, Yassine Brahimi has once again changed club. He's left Al Rayyan after three years in Qatar. Um, he's left as a free agent and he has signed a, a free transfer deal with another club in Qatar, Al Gorafa, of course, who have had few Algerians recently, the likes of Sofian Hani, uh, Adeline Gudiora has played for Al Gorafa recently as well, and now Yassine Brahimi will be joining this club. And again, it's a move to me that looks like sort of a player that's done with playing in Europe and sort of wants to make the most out of his career in the Middle East. You know, he's 32, 33. That big, big move to a European club, I really thought it was going to happen a few years ago. Arsenal were linked. Of course, he was at Porto playing in the Champions League year in, year out. Everton was so close to signing Yassine Brahimi a few years ago and that deal just didn't quite get over the line. You look at the exports of Porto, you know, even recently Fabio Vieira going to Arsenal. There was, you know, Luis Diaz going to Liverpool. He was at, he was at that stage, he was a Diaz, he was a Vieira once upon a time in his peak, in his prime at Porto. But he just chose to go to the Middle East instead. Obviously he had that amazing World Cup, you know, he moved from Granada in La Liga to Porto, of course, playing in the Champions League. It's a shame, I feel like it's a what if, a brilliant dribbler. I always said when Brahimi plays, you need two footballs, one for him and one for the rest of the game because he never passes. If he had a FIFA controller, there'd be no X button on it. And I really thought he'd revived his career going to the Arab Cup because he was in the Middle East, playing so well. He got himself back into the main Algeria squad. He started that game against Sierra Leone at AFCON and it just went downhill from there really. But I'm glad that he got to have that sort of Arab Cup experience because a lot of people were forgetting about Brahimi. He didn't play a single minute in the AFCON qualifiers and then went to the AFCON on the back of the Arab Cup. But, looks like, again, a player that we probably won't see again in the national team as a result of this move. If he'd gone to, like, Leon or something, would have been a chance. But that left-hand side now is so occupied with Bilali Brahimi. That's Bilal Brahimi, not Yassin. Um, and side Bamrahma, of course. Just doesn't seem like there's any room, particularly with the next AFCON. It's going to be a smaller squad. It's going to be 23 players. Um, those COVID restrictions won't be in place anymore. But Yassin Brahimi moves to Al Garaf. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.